Okay, so one of the most um, used and most important data structures that the EOS library uses is the multi-index. And um, the EOS team has essentially written their own version of, of the boost multi-index. So there are a little bit of differences between the two. Um, but in this section of the C++ course, what I want to do is I, I want to really, really deep dive on the multi-index data structure because it's very, very important. It's how you store RAM in EOS and pay for RAM and all those things. So I think it's very important to have like a very deep understanding of this data structure. Even though it's, we'll go over the boost data structure and later we'll talk about the EOS one. If you understand the boost one, it'll be really easy to wrap your head around the EOS one. And then we can talk about um, like very specific things that are different between the two data structures. Um, so what I want to do kind of is, this might even be its own section of the course to be honest, because I, I'm going to deep dive very, very deep into these into this data structure. Um, so what I have here is I have the Boost library documentation pulled up and we have the Boost multi-index tutorial. And what I want to do is I, I want to go through kind of every section of this, this, this um, set of documentation and really deep dive on each particular example. That way we'll make sure we really understand the multi-index and then that way when we talk about the EOS one it won't be nearly as confusing. Um, so the first example here is the employee example. We'll, we'll look at this one in the next video. Um, but for now, I just wanted to like do an introduction. Say, okay, we're you know, there's a reason we're talking about this multi-index. It's very important in EOS. Um, so uh, let's dive into it in the next video. Thanks.